Now that I have saved some money to build my dream home, I'm really confused about which estate company to approach. My friend had a bad experience with a particular estate agency after completing his payment and could not even get his title deed. This is serious. Thank you. My name is Oli. I'm from I'm a investment. I'm a set. Thank you. You know, I must say you came at a very right time. Really? I was thinking about houses. Great. What can your company offer me? EJ Investments can offer you a lot. We're unique in the market. Okay. We own our properties mm -hmm. and we ensure that they're developed with modern technologies. They're affordable and they're strategic locations. We don't just sell pieces of land, but we create settlements. What makes your company different from others? We're different from all real estate companies in the Gambia because what we have to offer is affordability, safety, and security. We ensure that you get a legal contract for when you pay your deposit. And within four weeks of paying your final settlement, we make sure you receive your title date. Four weeks? Four weeks. That's interesting. Yes. Now tell me, what real estate service you need? It's absolutely EJ, investment and real estate agency. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. MK Marina, Seni MK Marina, for this opportunity. Um, we are here at Kairaban. Journalists have turned up to um, attend the training on how to effectively report on the Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission that Gambia is about to set up. Uh, we know this is a very sensitive commission because it will be talking about death and disappearances and torture or rape. And how important do you think it is that journalists are trained to effectively and efficiently and so sensitively handle this issue, the commission. Um, thank you very much. I think the importance of uh, today's training on transitional justice is uh, very, very important considering our current realities. Gambia emerging from 22 years of brutal dictatorship and during that period media was you know, seriously muzzled and now that you know, media itself serving as a victim and a watchdog in the transition is very critical. So the, today's training of the media on the concept of transitional justice uh, with the setting up the, of the Truth Commission you know, is, is very timely. Um, I believe that the media you know, have an important role to play in this aspect because the media will be there to inform the public about the happenings at the commission and it will also be there to you know uh, tell the stories of victims and how do we tell the victim story you know it's not like any other storytelling this uh, specifically involves um, taking great care of what kind of information you will take out for example you know, during the dictatorship, we have seen people were tortured severely. So how do we, you know, put this message across in a manner that will not affect the victim, neither his family or those close to him? So I think this is an area that, you know, is very, very crucial. So for me, as someone who, as, who, who, as someone who is a victim of the former regime and also someone who, you know, is passionate about covering the TRRC, I believe the training will help to broaden my journalistic uh, horizon on areas of covering truth commission like this. Because Gambia have never seen a truth commission before. You've talked about one very critical thing. You are a victim and so were a lot of journalists. That, that makes it crucial uh, in terms of how you manage your emotions mm -hmm. and how it relates to your work. Yeah, this is, we have to draw a fine line in this aspect. A victim as a journalist covering the TRRC. Interested. Professionally, you should be there to cover what is being said or what is being done at the commission. Not to cover something with emotion because yourself, you are a victim. That will do more damage than good. And in this aspect, you have to, you're reporting should you know do damage control it should not expose victims to further repercussion it should not expose victims to further you know uh, intimidation it should help victims to heal during this process as they look forward to uh, uh, justice Finally, 
I am going. I have finally, to go and eat in a place, you know. Finally, yeah. Um, this is going to be a very sensitive moment when we look at the challenges of Africans, that the very challenges that Africans have gone through, and the emotional issue that they have gone through. Mm -hmm. And now this Truth Commission is going to unravel that or reopen the whole world. No, no, I, you know, look, the objective of the TRRC is to uncover what has happened during the past 22 years of Jammeh's brutality and also to ensure it does not repeat itself. So we must dig the past in order to avoid occurrence of what happened in the past. And by doing that, victims must come up with their stories. These stories will be heartbreaking. These stories will be hard to swallow. But these are stories that will mend the future of this country. So they need to be told. Thank you.